Hi class, I'm Sir Gani and I will be your facilitator today. Welcome to our cookery class. For our last lesson, we will be discussing lesson 11, food packaging. Objective, at the end of the lesson, the learner can identify the different packaging materials Number two, the learner can explain the method of food packaging. And number three, to be able to demonstrate how to label a food. Let's first define what is food packaging. Food packaging is an enclosing of food to protect it from damage, contamination, spoilage, pest attacks, and tampering throughout transport, storage, and retail sale. So meaning class, when you say food packaging, it is as simple as packaging of food. A package provides protection, tampering resistance, and special physical, chemical, or biological needs. It may bear also a nutrition facts label and other information food being offered for sale. Levels of packaging. We have three levels of packaging. We have the primary packaging, secondary packaging, and tertiary packaging. So what is primary packaging? It is the main package that holds the food that is being processed. So when you say primary packaging or package, it is the term used to designate the layer of packaging in immediate contact with the, with the product. In other words, it is the first packaging layer in which the product is contained. As such, primary packaging is constructed both with the product itself and in any existing secondary layers of packaging in mind. Number two, secondary packaging contains the primary package, combines the primary package into one box being made. So when you say secondary package, it is intended to protect not only the product but also the primary packaging, which often is the packaging most visible to the consumer in retail displays. The most common example of secondary packaging includes cardboard cartons, cardboard boxes, and cardboard or plastic crates. Last, number three, tertiary packaging. Typically, the distribution package combines all the secondary packages into one pallet. The tertiary packaging is the type which is typically not seen by consumers since it is usually removed by retailers because products are displayed for sale. Examples of tertiary packaging might include brown cardboard boxes, wood pallets, and shrink wraps. Functions of packaging. The principal role of food packaging are physical protection. The food enclosed in the package may require protection from among shock, vibration, compression, temperature, bacteria, etc. Barrier protection. Some packages contain desiccants or oxygen absorbers to help extend shelf life. Modified atmosphere or controlled atmosphere are also maintained in some food packages. It keeps the contents clean, fresh, and safe for the intended shelf life is a primary function. Containment or agglomeration. Small items are typically grouped together in one package to allow efficient handling. Liquids, powders, and granular materials need containment. Information transmission. Packages and labels communicate how to use, transport, recycle, or dispose of the package or product. Some types of information are required by the governments. Marketing. The packaging and labels can be used by marketers to encourage potential buyers to purchase the product. Security. 
Packaging can play an important role in reducing the security risk of shipment. Packages can be made with improved tamper resistance to deter tampering and also can have tamper evident features to help indicate tampering. Convenience Packages can have features which adds convenience in distribution. Handling, stocking display, sale, opening, reclosing, use, and reuse. Portion control. Single serving packaging has a precise amount of contents to control usage. Bulk commodities such as salt will be divided into packages that are enough size for individual household. Types of packaging materials. Here are different types of packaging materials that can be used in packing foods. Number one, plastic. The most common package materials, plastic can be rigid or flexible and it is light in weight. Plastic resin ranges from polyethylene to riptalate used for bottles to low density. Polyethylene used for egg cartons and loose filled packing peanuts. Glass includes bottles and jars for foods, cosmetics, and other products. Metals used primarily for food and beverage can containing anything from beans to soft drinks. Paper and paperboard includes cardboard boxes. Types of food packaging Hermetic packages A type of packaging that uses a container that is so tightly closed that no air can leave or enter. Example is canning goods. Letter B, modified atmosphere package. This type of packaging uses nitrogen in the packaging process to decrease the amount of oxygen in a package. Example, packaging of chips. Letter C, vacuum package. This type of packaging that needs to remove air from the package prior to sealing. Example, are the packages for processed meats. Safety procedures in packaging foods. Packaging can potentially make for food unsafe or unsuitable, for example, if something contaminates foods during the packaging process, harmful microorganisms get into food from dirty or damaged packaging, parts of packaging break off into foods, example, glass or plastic fragments, and chemical leach from packaging into food. Chemicals in food packaging. Chemicals can leach from some food packaging under certain conditions. These things that can have affect leaching into food includes whether the packaging has direct or indirect contact with food, type of food, example, some packaging is unsuitable for oily or acidic foods, storage conditions such as time, temperature, humidity, whether the food will be microwave or heated in the packaging, cleaning and sanitizing the packaging for reuse, and use of recycled materials for packaging. How to reduce risk? Choose the right packaging. Only use clean and damaged food safe packaging. Buy from a reputable source. Know the composition of your food and check the packaging is suitable. Ask the supplier or manufacturer for assurance or certification that the, ma the material is food safe. And check manufacturer's instructions or symbol to confirm the packaging can take the condition it will be exposed to, such as freezing, microwaving, or use in dishwashers. Use packaging correctly. Handle with good hygienic practices. Store in a secure and clean place. Consider how long and where food will be stored in packaging and check it will stay safe under those conditions. Use appropriate cleaning and sanitizing methods. 
only you reuse packaging or other materials if safe for food example don't repeatedly use packaging designed for single use consider using a food safe inner liner if there's a risk of chemical leaching into food that is the end of our lesson i just hope that you have learned something about the food packaging Please do prepare yourself to review our previous lesson because we will be having a short quiz on our next meeting. Have a nice day!